a 60 year old male has presented with the features given in image so you can see the image and uh, microscopic finding which is very clear cut here so all of the following are true about this condition except so after seeing this microscopy and gross finding so what is your opinion what could be this disorder what is your diagnosis you can see there is a pearly papular lesion here right and when you are seeing the microscopy there is a peripheral palisading you can see parallel arrangement of the tumor cells are there in the basal part of the epidermis so there is a proliferation of the basal cell and they are all forming the peripheral palisading peripheral palisading means parallel arrangement so if i make diagram like this so you can see tumor cells are parallel to each other like this so this is called as peripheral peripheral palisading in this area it will be diagnostic of basal cell carcinoma right so now in this case our diagnosis is basal cell carcinoma so what is not true in this right so that is the question so basal cell carcinoma is also known as rodent ulcer because uh, when you will see the ulcer, this area is the ulcero, uh, ulcero proliferative or nodulo ulcerative area it looks like as if uh, uh, rodent have nibbled away the skin so that is why it is called as rodent ulcer so this is a true statement they are also known as rodent ulcer metastasis is not seen yes they are having no metastasis or very rarely they will have metastasis sonic hedgehog gene mutation is seen this was the question in the neat and dnb exam right so sonic hedgehog gene mutation is one of the very important uh, mechanism to cause basal cell carcinoma most common site is forearm though so you can see that and the, if the question itself is showing you that most common site is not forearm it is the face above the angle of mouth and the lobe of the or pinna of the ears right so this is a false statement right so now we will have a brief overview of the uh, basal cell carcinoma why basal cell carcinoma is also known as rodent ulcer so you can see first of all you can see this is rodent looks like a rodent ulcer because rodent is nibbling why it is called as because tumor nibbles away the skin like a rodent that is why it is called as rodent ulcer so that is why it is also known as rodent ulcer right that is why it is called as rodent ulcer so please remember rodent ulcer because it tumor nibbles away the skin like a rodent ulcer and what is the common site so you can see common site is a line line drawn above the angle of mouth and pinna so tumor mass is here so basal cell carcinoma mass is here right so now you can see common site is above the line drawn from the angle of mouth to the pinna so it is not forearm <coughs> basal cell carcinoma how will be the gross or clinical finding so they will be having pearly papule you can see this is the pearly papule this is a little bit more closer view of the pearly papule right and there they are having pearly borders with some of the dilated blood vessels are also there dilated blood vessels which are dilated or tortuous so we can also call this as a telangiectatic blood vessels and there is a central ulceration also central ulceration so this ulceration is the reason for the rodent ulcer right so now understand so pearly papule pearly border telangiectasia over that mass nodular mass and there will be a central ulceration so that will be the finding of the basal cell carcinoma so in basal cell carcinoma what you will see there is a sonic hedgehog gene mutation and most common site is face above the line from the ear lobe to the angle of mouth right and on 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 microscopic examination what will be the finding proliferation of the basaloid cells and peripheral tumor cells in the island right so now you can see there is a proliferation of the basaloid cell is going on this is the basaloid cell right radially arranged long axis and parallel so they are having radial arrangement long axis is parallel to the this so this is called as peripheral palisading so this palisading which we are seeing here is diagnostic for the basal <laughs>